Right, so first job is to roll some rings. Uh, I've got these rings all cut. I think I've got about 22 I'm going to do. I've done these before, so I know what to set this machine at, which is an absolute bonus. So I just have to look up what it comes up at, and there you go. Otherwise, it's trial and error to actually get them to come up right so they're not too tight or too loose and you can do it in one go. If you're just doing one it doesn't matter you can do it a little bit and then tighten it up but when you're doing a batch you want to be able to just stick one in after the other. Just like so. And those little flats on the end we'll soon get rid of them. So that's the next job. Just get rid of that. couple of Boshes as long as it's somewhere close. There you go, near enough. On to the jig. Now I'll show you this jig later, but for the time being it's just a case of clamp it all on. These clamps stay where they're supposed to be. Luckily I've got a whole batch of these clamps I bought off eBay I think it was. Someone had done a job and just wanted to get rid of them all. They were all like brand new. A load of them. Oh, that's come off again. Get on there. Make sure, oh yeah, that one's come off, bloody things. I'm just trying to make sure the edges of the cut line up. Give them a quick whiz. There's probably a, a way of doing this with some other sort of clamps that are a bit quicker but this is all I've got for the time being and I don't do many of these very often so it'll do. Now I'm just tapping that where it was bent just to get them straight and then going all the way around it's sort of a bit of stress relieving and then just concentrate on where it was bent to try and get them fairly flat or fairly round as it were. Now just lifted it up a bit and put this in. This is what it runs on. They're not usually this loose on the wheel. They're usually a little bit tighter than that. Just using a bit of scrap to make sure it's the right height at the sides as well as uh, on the bar. These don't have to run 100% true because they're, they're running really quite slowly at just a sort of walking pace. They run on a wheel of the, of the machine that puts the white line on the road and they indicate when a metre is up because the lines are a metre long or multiples of. Um, so that's all it does. It runs on the wheel and rings a bell when it gets to a metre. So it's not precision, but you want them somewhere near. Come on, no earth now. Now put that bar where the join is, It'll, it sort of strengthens the join so I can grind that off and it won't weaken it because it's held from the back. Now put it in the wrong way up. 
Oh, I'll tell you what, turn the camera on and you go to pieces. That way up. Just grind off that weld. Make sure there's no lumps and bumps. Just try them. Make sure they're running somewhere near right. That's not bad. It's got a little bit of a wobble on that one, but it ain't bad. I'll go with the rest of them. So this is not bad, really. They're running fairly true. Now these go on an arm, which I haven't got here, but they they are already made at the shop I'm taking these back to. Now let's have a little look at the jig. This is something, in case you're interested, you might not be, but the outer part of it is a, a huge pipe flange, and the inner part is a smaller pipe flange, just welded the two together. Um, the bit in the middle there is just a bit of mild steel with a 12mm reamed hole in, because this is a 12mm ground pin. So it's going to be a, a good tight fit. So it gets them fairly accurate. Um, that bit underneath is a bearing, big bearing case. Don't know what it came from. It came out of skip. Um, now I bolted that, all this, to the bearing case underneath. Um, the outer edge is a piece of inch three eight rolled round and welded on to the flange. Then I put it up in the lathe and machined it down to exactly the right size to get a metre um, diameter when I rolled a bit of 3 sixteenths round. These are just a bit of inch and a quarter flat welded under there just so that the ring goes down. And then I cut these out with a plasma cutter to put the clamps in. So that's basically all it is. Um, now I've got it you can see how thick that bit of bearing casing is. I don't know, so I don't know what it came off. And I use these flanges just to get it off the deck a little bit. This is my hole that I use for all sorts. They just hold it up so that I can use the clamps. If I just put it in like that, I can clamp it, but I can't turn it around because the clamps are too, too big. They touch the, the bench. So that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.